Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 91. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 87 to 92. Hey, trick number 91, we're going to do the same thing we did in 90, which was to calculate an average only if it was in the month of August and only if this column of success had the number one, then we wanted to. Uh, calculate an average. Well, we did it with formulas here, but doing it with a pivot table is a lot easier. I'm going to put one cursor somewhere in my data set, and lo as long as I have field names and records, no blanks anywhere, then I can do this. In uh, 2007, 2003, you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt D P to open up the three step wizard. In 2007, you can go to Insert pivot tables, pivot table, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-N-V-T, N-V-T. Now, uh, in 2007, everything's in one uh, dialog box here. So in step one of 2003, you got to select the range, then click uh, Next. I'm sorry, in uh, 2003, you just say, hey, I want a pivot table. Step two, you say the range, and then step three, you say you want it in a new worksheet or existing worksheet. Here in 2007, we just have the range, and if you have it set up correctly, it'll guess right. Otherwise, you can select it using that button. Existing worksheet, and I'm going to click right here and click in that cell right there. All right, now I have, uh, this is the extension on this workbook is .xls, so it automatically pops up. Um, I'm going to close this uh, field list here. It pops up looking like it's 2007, so you can click in the pivot table area and point to pivot table options. And under display, you can say don't show classic, classic pivot table layout and then click OK. Now I need to get back the field list. I'm going to right click and show field list. Now our goal is to get uh, months, and then uh, so we're going to click the date and drag it down to rows. Right now, we can see we have a bunch of dates, but you right click, group, and point to months and years. Now, if you only have, if you, all your months are in the same year, it doesn't matter, but I always do that just to make sure. Click OK. Then, if uh, uh, one day from a different year does show up, you can see that it's, uh, it'll say 2009 or 7 or whatever. Now, we want August, so I'm going to click this drop down here and uncheck select all. And then I'm going to come down, oh, you couldn't see that right there. I click this drop down right here, this drop down, and I unselect it all, and then I selected August. That's a way to filter, and then I click OK, it's at the bottom there. And there we have only, oh, I just noticed something. Oh, we need to, um, once we have August here, we need to have this one show up here. But I don't really want it showing up as a column here. So I'm going to drag it down to the report filter, but I just noticed something. If I drag it down to the report filter, it's going to add the report filter up here. So watch it. This is a great trick. You can actually take your pivot table, once you've started to create a little bit, and uh, move it. And I'm going to actually use my cursor to move. If I point to the edge of any selected range, you see that is your move cursor. I'm going to click and drag it down a little bit. Now watch this when I drag the A, because the A says, uh, yes, we want this record. This is a success. This is a failure. I'm going to click the A to the report filter. And just like that, now I have a report. And the report filters, in an earlier version, this was called page. These are awesome, because now you can filter this whole table. Click the drop down, and I'm just going to say I want, uh, in 2007, you can select multiple items. In earlier versions, you could only let's select one. I'm going to uncheck the zero, and then click OK. Now I need to add um, my B column to the value area. And just like that. I have, whoops, that's not what I want. Remember, my goal here was to calculate an average. It had to be August, had to be one, and then we wanted all the yellow ones to be average. Well, by default, it comes up as sum for a pivot table. I'm going to close this field list right there. I'm just going to right click and go to value field settings, value field settings. And then I'm going to click on average and click OK. And sure enough, there it is. If you go back and watch that other video, we got the same. Uh, average there using uh, formulas and functions, and here we used it doing a pivot table. Pivot table is probably a little bit easier. All right, we'll see you next trick.